Hello everybody, this is Kevin from Klotz Productions and this is game one of the quarterfinals at Mirden Besieged Game Day. I started the game off with the quest for the Holy Relic and brought it up to one counter with a Memnite. Jake put a Drowned Catacombs in a play tapped and then I played and cracked an Arid Mesa to search for a Plains and go down to 19. Then I attacked with my Memnite taking Jake to 19. Jake then played a Contagion Clasp and killed my Memnite. Then with a handful of land and two ornithopters, I cracked another Aired Mesa going down to 18 and passed the turn. Jake played a Scalding Tarn and then cast a Preordain. He decided to keep both the cards on the top and put one of them in his hand. I continued to draw land and then Jake put a Tectonic Edge into play. He then sacrificed his Scalding Tarn to search for an island and went down to 18. Then he resolved a Tezzeret Agent of Bolus. He then used his Tezzeret to turn his artifact into a 5-5 and hit me, taking me to 13 life. I then drew a much needed Squadron Hawk and played him to search for two more. This brought my quest up to two counters, and then I played a second Hawk and brought it up to three. Jake attacked with his artifact again, so I used one of my Hawks to chump block it. He then used his Tezzeret to find a Prophetic Prism and put it into his hand. Then he finished his turn by playing a Tumble Magnet. I started my next turn by playing my two Ornithopters and bringing my quest up to five counters. I then sacrificed the quest to search for an Argentum Armor and equipped it to my Hawk. However, I didn't get to attack with it because Jake tapped it down with his Tumble Magnet during combat. Then post-combat, I equipped the Armor to one of my Ornithopters and passed the turn. Jake put a Mox Opal into play and then resolved to Jace the Mind Sculptor. He then used Tezzeret to turn my armor into a 5-5 creature and then bounced it back to my hand with the Jace. He then set down another Drowned Catacomb and cast his Prophetic Prism to draw a card. Then he attacked with his 5-5 artifact again, which I decided to block this time with an Ornithopter. I then played my last Hawk, however Jake tapped the first one again with his Tumble Magnet, so I passed the turn without any attacks. Jake started off by clearing my board with a slag storm and then used his Tezzeret to turn his opal into another 5-5 creature and attacked with both of them taking me down to 3. I then resolved in a quarter paladin along with my Argentum armor, however I was dead on board so scooped taking us to game 2.